Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. My name is Mila. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel, like or dislike this video and active the notification bell. Guys, I talk to myself, my neighbors must be like. Because basically our apartments are super isolated so you cannot really hear the neighbors. But here I'm next to kind of my op my door and uh, people must be like, what is this bitch doing making monologues with herself? Anyway, guys. <laughs> so, I am trying another alternative to Red Bull, it's still super caffeinated, but yeah, I'll tell you what I think about it, because guys, you know what, Red Bull, <laughs> I drink so much Red Bull that now people, when I have a kind of Red Bull, now uh, on my Instagram, I get tags almost daily of people tagging me with uh, them drinking Red Bull, so yeah. And I contacted Red Bull multiple times, and they do not want to sponsor me. So, you snooze, you lose. Now I'm trying this, and I really, really like it. Guys, sometimes I get comments, why are you shaking? What's wrong? <laughs> I'm like, first of all, do you really think that I'm going to be like, yeah, you pinpointed something right, honey, in my comments, and I'm just going to open up to total stranger in my comments. Be real two seconds, okay? I really like this. Funny how just by the color you can see that it's super unhealthy. But that's okay. Guys, today I'm gonna do a perfume haul. Uh, I didn't do for a while. And I also, when I was putting makeup on, asked you on Instagram to... Because I didn't have anything... Honestly, I don't have much to chit chat about. I'm actually quite in a good mood. It looks like my situation is getting sorted. Yes, it looks like it's getting sorted. And I have already quite a few subjects to talk about. You know what? Let's do two perfumes, a subject, two perfumes, a subject, two perfumes, a subject, two perfumes, a subject. Okay? Let's do like this. Okay, guys. So, uh, I got uh, from the C line, I got two. Honestly, uh, on Douglas, I have th the things I like and when they go 50% on sale or more, I get them. I don't like the C original, I don't, just don't, but I like these two. So this is the new C, it has like black currant, black tea and vanilla. To me it smells very sour uh, and vanilla-y. I wouldn't say it's too sweet, I just really like the black currant in that. I think it's very very nice. So black currant, I, I just like the no black currant so for me it works. Yes, it is quite a typical designer perfume. The lasting power for me is okay, medium. I would definitely recommend it. I think it's cute. Uh, this is nice. I like C. Uh, this C, this one. And I like the bottle too. I just like Armani uh, bottle perfumes in general. Then I have this, C Passione. It's not the intense, it's the normal one. It has pineapple, it's very, very fruity. It has a vintage 80s kind of vibe. Not that I was <laughs> around in the 80s, but you know what I mean? Yeah, it has kind of like a hairspray, uh, synthetic fruit vibe. It doesn't last a long time. I would say the longevity is faint to mild. Yeah, mild, faint to mild to the maximum. Also, in the sea line, I like Si Passione Eclat. I really like this one, it's just more of a pop version of the Si Passione, it's very nice, it's very summery. Really, really enjoyed that. Yes, this is cute. I'm gonna get a big bottle of that as well. So let's answer to a question together. And I asked specifically to not talk about geopolitics. How to deal with depression, anxiety and panic attacks. Look, guys, everything is gonna be controversial as usual. I feel like I am the queen of controversy. Okay, so uh, let's start by anxiety. To me, a lot, uh, and not all, not all, but a lot of mental illnesses, right, uh, are actually not mental illnesses. Anxiety, for example. Anxiety is, for me, a normal feeling. Like, I don't think... It, like, imagine you would be in the street and you would see a lion. 
and not have anxiety would be just strange. But I do understand what you mean. Um, I have less and less and less anxiety as time goes. To be totally honest with you, before I could not manage it at all, it would, it would give me sleepless nights. What I do is block my thoughts. That's not at all what psychologist recommends. Psychologist recommends to analyze the thought, uh, see what it's bringing to you. No. This, for me, always ends up in guilt tripping. Uh, what I do is block my thought. I have a bad thought, I block it. I think about something else. Or uh, take. Uh, sometimes people cannot control their mind like that, so then take action. Meaning you start to have anxiety, get up, organize. I always have somewhere messy in my apartment. Not that I need to make extra effort for that, but I always have a place that's messy. So in case you go organize that and trust me, your anxiety will be gone. And also uh, watch Anna Bay's video about anxiety. Uh, I don't agree about everything she says in it, but it's true that we take too much, uh, in, we give too much importance to anxiety. Panic attacks. I was victim of them when um, they started in 2010. They started. And now I almost don't have them at all. I have medication for panic attacks in case I need them. Because I do think in the beginning, yes. But you kind of... The only solution to get over panic attacks, in my opinion, is not the medicine. The medicine will help you, but that's it. It's to ignore them. Yes, I know it's absolutely horrible and it sounds like something undoable, but you learn how to do it, you ignore them. You ignore them. Uh, panic attacks are, is a rush of adrenaline that goes in your blood. Usually, panic attacks are actually also a um, natural phenomenon. It's, for example, if you have a lion in front of you, you're gonna have a panic attack which is a rush of adrenaline, so you can be more performant in running and so on. Here it's just like, as we live uh, in a world where we don't, like, imagine, for example, you have a panic attack before a job interview. You cannot just, like, sprint, you know what I mean? But you're still gonna go through the panic attack. Uh, what my doctor says is take a bag and um, blow in it. I think it's better to just ignore it. Like, do like nothing's happening. Before, usually, I would straight away take a glass of wine and it would go away. It's, nothing is a solution. You have to do like they don't exist. You know what I mean? And if you are in good health, there's absolutely... Because the whole point of panic attacks is that you think that you're dying, right? But you're not dying. So, uh, yeah. Easier said than done. When they start happening to me, I just take action. It's a little bit like anxiety. I personally have never suffered of depression. So I could not help with that. And what I'm saying about, like, I think that too many illnesses are just, like, made up is, like, ADHD, right? Um, I am someone who thinks very fast. It's not me who came up with it. I was followed by a psychiatrist when I had panic attacks at the moment of my life where life was very hard. So, he told me that I have, in, uh, how to say, in average, three times more thoughts than an average person. And I'm not showing off, I'm just telling you that people can mistake what I have, which is that I have more thoughts than the usual person, because you know I jump from subjects to subjects. It's because by the time I finish a sentence, I have already 10 other subjects waiting in my head. I try to control it as I can, but it's not always easy. Does it affect me, affect me in my normal life? Not at all. Actually, I think it's really, really positive for me. For me, it helps me in life. But it can look like ADHD, but um, I know I'm ranting a little bit here. ADHD for me, most people have ADHD. Like, I mean, one woman out of two, in my opinion, have ADHD. But this is just my opinion, just what I saw over the years. Anxiety, of course I have anxiety. Of course I shake because of anxiety. Of course it happens. I just kind of ignore it. And if someone tells me, you're shaking, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm shaking. But if you can, this is gonna go against what I said just before. If you can avoid anxiety situations that don't bring you any benefits, I only go into an anxious situation if I know that this situation will bring me benefits. Otherwise, I avoid anxious situations. I am not the kind of person who likes to go to crowded places and all of this, it gives me anxiety, so I just avoid, you know? So yeah, 
I think it's it's good, like, like it's better for me like that. Okay, I got two perfumes from Corez. Corez is a Greek mark, if I'm not mistaken. And um, they're known like for being quite promoted as a, a natural brand. Uh, yeah. So uh, I have Black Sugar. It's similar, kind of like, it's, it's a caramel sugary perfume that smells like Prada candy. I was wearing Prada candy when I was pregnant, so I like this kind of scents. Just sweet, comforting, not very long lasting. And uh, then I have a Kashmir Kumakwat. Kumquat? Kumquat. Uh, so it has orange blossom, jasmine almond, cashmere, cedarwood, vanilla, and um, mandarin orange in the opening. This is similar-ish to Alien. It's nice. It's a softer version of Alien, and uh, I like the packaging. I think like easy to transport, and I think that they're good, kind of um, good non-boring non scents, but in the, the same um, time that smells quite... Uh, that smells quite original. Okay, I reposted a friend that I made myself on the internet because of fragrances. Uh, I'm gonna add his gourmand Andy. Uh, I'm gonna add you his Instagram and uh, his... Um, his YouTube, he opened a YouTube in Polish because someone said, do you speak Polish? No, but Russian is very, very close to Polish, in my opinion. Uh, I was understanding 60% of the video and I did not know that. Like, I did not know that Russian was close to Polish. Did you ever notice that, guys? Because that really, really took me off guard that Polish was so understandable. Hard to learn languages for you, for me, no. This is one really, really good quality I have is that it's really easy for me to learn a language. Guys, I can... Uh, I If someone talks next to me in German, Spanish, Italian, and uh, quite a few other languages, I understand everything. I, understand, I just don't say anything, but I, I understand absolutely everything. So, yeah. Um, but also keep in mind that, like, it's uh, it has to do with your first language. For example, for someone who speaks English, I would assume, if English is your only language, I I'm just assuming, right, that it would be harder to learn French and harder to learn uh, Russian, because French, uh, English is a very easy language. It's the easiest language, in my opinion. I know sometimes I make mistakes, but I'm still a C1. I, th I still think I'm very, very good in English, obviously. Uh, and I pass the exams and blah blah blah. If you want the paper, I'll send it to you by email. No, I will not do this effort. But yes, I am a C1 and I was number one of my class against doctors, lawyers, and all of this. Blah blah blah. Okay, so don't come. The accent, you know, that I could correct my accent if I really wanted to, but as long as people understand me, I don't care. And I never actually. Only on YouTube, you guys say that, like, we don't understand you, we don't understand you. Never in my life. Did I meet a person who I spoke English to that did not understand what I was saying? So this is this is absolute BS. BS to the max. And yeah, okay, so then guys, this I would definitely recommend get, get it. This is Latafa Mayar. I'm not sure about the notes. It, it, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Angel Nova. And good, good girl, the one that's red with the sparkly uh, front, if you understand. Guys, it's just so like fruity. Ah, it's so nice. Raspberry, lychee, violet leaf, peony, uh, white rose, jasmine, vanilla mask. Guys, this is so cute. Cute. This is the word for it. Cute. Okay. Then I have kind of a regret. Okay. So this is uh, Armani Diamond. Uh, I used to have this perfume when I was uh, younger and I had good memories with it and it went like very very low in price and I bought it. I was like why not and uh, I like usually Armani perfumes. The clothes a bit less but I like the perfumes. So 
what does it have here? Uh, lychee raspberry, oh my god, it has like... Uh, look, to me it smells, this is the problem. It doesn't smell... It smells like a dirty fruit, kind of. It has some patchouli, like green dirty fruit. It has some vetiver, it has... The fruits are lychee and uh, raspberry. Also, I got this scent with it. Uh, this is the new Armani New Way. I was expecting something a lot more sparkling. My way, not new way. <laughs> My way from Armani and I don't, I don't like it. It doesn't have anything about it that I like. I, I like the bottle though, the bottle is cute. Well, the bigger bottle, you know, but yeah. Have few perfumes left. Let's answer some questions. Oof, sensitive subjects. Giving your uh, <laughs> giving your life up for children is it worth it? Okay. So, first of all, uh, I'm gonna upset a lot of people here. In my personal opinion, if you have a full time job. If you don't want to raise your child yourself, you should not have children. That's basically destroying your body to give birth to someone who's going to be raised by a stranger. I would make sure to be in a situation where I can look after my child. I'm not saying like starting to work again when your child is like school age. But before that, I think it's better if you can look after your child yourself. Uh, and uh, yeah, after I understand, there, is, there are situations that are horrible. Uh, women who get dumped by their men before they, they give birth or when the child is little and they have to work and look after the child. This is absolutely, totally different. And just to make it clear, um, I am going to be honest with you, but I will not tell you exactly what I think because I have a child and uh, I'm, I'm not going to be 100% honest. One thing that becomes hard, especially when, when you're someone that's easily attacked, this is also why I do not show my child on internet at all. She might have been seen here and there when she was very little, but now she's very recognizable, so I will not show her. If by mistake, one or two seconds here and there, whatever, but yes, for me it's very important. So before people used to attack me for me, just me, and that's okay. I can deal with that, it happens since I'm little, I can deal with people attacking me for being me, I don't really care that much. When people start attacking you through your child, it's a different story. It's a different story. Because people with jealousy, people are like, oh, yeah. hey, you think that everyone is jealous of you? It is jealousy. Uh, I'm sorry to say there is no absolute, absolutely no way else to turn it around. If people are jealous of you, they are going to attack you through your kid. And this is a totally other story and you have to be prepared for that. I think that uh, the parent role, and I'm, and I'm including myself in it, is uh, something a lot harder than what I could have even imagined. Okay? And, not, and, and also, keep in mind this coming from a mother who has a child who sleeps 12 nights from her three months, and I don't even remember my, my, my daughter, right? You know why I started YouTube? Because when my daughter was like two, she was sleeping 20 hours a day, and I was bored. So looking after the kid is not the problem. It's everything that come around. And I would say that the first, uh, well, I'm talking about my child, in my opinion. So the first three, three years of your child are quite easy. In my opinion, it's the easiest time. The hardest time is when your children start going to school. This is for me the worst because this is for me like now I think it is the most stressful. Also, um, I think it is absolutely unfair to give birth to children. And I know that some people are going get, to get triggered by it. It's absolutely disgusting even in my opinion. It's absolutely disgusting entitlement and lack of education to give birth to kids, 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 go back to work, go out and make your kids kept by 
the apparent here, apparent there, a granddad here, a grandma there. This for me is a spoiled princess behavior. Because then you're absolutely not thinking about your child, neither of your family. Because the people who have... The people will say yes, of course, they're, because they are polite. But can you imagine that some people, some women, give birth to children and then ask to people who are retired to look after them because they want to be independent and they have a standard of living. When I hear that, it literally blows my mind how some people are chavs. If you give birth to a child, or you pay, if you pay the person, no problem. Otherwise, don't pop out kids and torture people around yourself. Of course, um, like if, if par some parents want, for example, to come to help for a week here or there, I totally understand that, if the parents want, but you cannot demand it. You cannot demand it, okay? Um, I would never, like, I don't know, if Victoria has children, which I hope, I don't know if I hope, the way the world is going, I don't know what I hope, but if Victoria has kids, I'm going to be like, honey, of course, if you want to go out with your husband, I'll take her for an evening, same as my mom did with Vicky. Like, sometimes we would go away for a weekend, me and Craig, so she would look after Vic for a night, or we would go out at a party that we knew we would drink at, so she would look up after her for a night, like maybe once a month for a date night, or so on. But then, other than that, I think that if you have a child, it is your responsibility. And guys, nurseries scare me more and more. I'm already scared about public schools, which in Switzerland they are supposed to be the best, but I don't think that my daughter, I will let my daughter, um, when she starts to become a teenager, I don't think I'm gonna keep her in a public school, that, because it's it's too woke. And I, I, I just, I'm not a woke person, okay? I am for I am for the traditional uh, family. The women look after the child. The man brings the money. I always was like that. I think a, the new generation is just in general scaring me. And guys, like uh, okay, I'm with my husband for eleven years, but even before that, never a guy dared asking half half for a restaurant. Like what is that? Like, for me, but okay, I'm not even gonna go into the subject too deeply. For me, when a man asks a woman to pay something half-half, for me, the attraction is gone. I'm allowed to have criteria. Some men want skinny women, some men want uh, women who, who, who can cook, which is normal for a woman to know how to cook. But yeah, this is also another subject, this is my traditional vibe. Guys, I'm allowed to ask for... I'm, a, I'm allowed to be put off by a man who doesn't know how to look after a family. It's my preference. Anyway, no point arguing. I have two other perfumes that I got in the Zara last last sale. So this is Lila Japonica. Hey, I have a talent for switching subjects. Lila Japonica. So uh, it smells like Lila's and I don't have any perfume that smells like Lila's. It's nice. If I'm honest, it's just like a house perfume. I'm, no, I'm never gonna wear it anywhere else. And I have also this Vanilla Vibration. What was with this one? It's quite aromatic. Vanilla Vibration. Then and yes, it's totally possible, by the way, about the kitten. It's, is it worth it to give up your life? Guys, I did not give up my life. I always look good, like, I, I, I always look good. I still have friends, like, uh, I mean, I work. I created my own business. I, would you, I have a husband that look after us. Like, I don't have anything to complain about. I didn't give up my life. My, my daughter is a plus. As I said, what I think is the minus, and also, a child humbles you. Oof! Guys, a child humbles you a lot and gives you the real sense of responsibility in life. Okay, so this warm, spicy, vanilla, powdery, iris, violet, aromatic, earthy. It has some iris and violet, which makes them a bit more dry, a bit green and aromatic. Okay, so this is a vanilla for people who don't like vanilla, basically. Feminine energy... 
does feminine energy matter in a relationship? Guys, yes, it does. The problem is that um, now we are in an imbalance. Before men were super masculine, uh, super well educated to hold the a door for women, like to literally see their wife like a little thing that they have to take care of. Now women are becoming stronger than men. <laughs> and um, so now therefore, uh, it's, for example, for me, it's hard to be, um, I am, for example, not a flirty person at all. Don't worry, when it comes to the stuff, I know how to do that. But I'm not a flirty person, like, no. And I think that this is removed by the fact that men don't... We are all kind of becoming... Like, female are becoming more masculine and men are becoming more feminine. And this is what you can constat everywhere in Europe. And I'm just talking about Europe. Yeah, it's just pretty obvious. Look what I blind bought. I'm gonna do a full review about that. Okay. How to manage sex life with husband and mom life together. Okay, so guys, when you don't have a kid, you can do whatever you want. You can, <clears throat> in your kitchen, you can do whatever sorts of noises and whatever you want, right? Exactly, after you have to adapt. Uh, you have to ha you have to adapt. Be quieter, uh, be more efficient, so everyone is happy. Uh, so yeah, it is possible. It is possible, no problem. Just wait that your kid sleeps, close the door, and try to not make too much noise, and try to be e efficient even if it's automatic. Vanilla sex. That's what you get when you have a child at home. But what was surprising was my husband, right? Because uh, we got married the 3 August and then went away to Greece. Just me and him. And everything was the same as in the beginning. All the stuff we used to do. Open bar. So yeah, you just like in front of your kid, like don't traumatize your kid, okay? Don't, 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 don't try too much. Don't traumatize your kid. Make it the vanilla way. Simple, likable. Everyone gets what they need enjoyable but quiet okay guys i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel like or dislike this video activate notification bell and i see you in my next one bye guys